To be completely honest with you guys, I'm a little bit worried with how the production ramp of the 4680 batteries are going, and it mainly has to do with how Giga Texas is structuring their vehicle production, because there's been some more developments since the last time we've chatted about Giga Texas, which is kind of peculiar. I mean, so essentially, people who ordered the Model Y long range, you know, straight through the Tesla website, are now starting to get assigned VINs that are built from Austin. We know they are because of the 11th digit in your VIN labels where the factory was of the vehicle's production. So if it's a Fremont build, the 11th digit will be an F, and if it's a Giga Texas build, that 11th digit will be an A. So that's how we know that several people now are getting VINs assigned from Giga Texas, but again, they're not the standard range all-wheel drive Model Y. So a few people were thinking Tesla must be building 4680 long-range models, but the reason I don't believe that is because we have not gotten any new updated EPA filings. You know, months before the launch of the 4680 Model Y, Tesla published published with the EPA, the standard range all-wheel drive option, you know, that had the 4680 batteries and the structural pack. Now customers have accepted delivery of those, so it's confirmed. And before you ask, no, they cannot just quietly sneak in 4680 batteries to certain long-range models and not update the EPA filing. Because of the structural pack and because of how it's manufactured totally differently, they would have to submit a new document. Even if the range was the same, the weight would be tinkered a little bit and it would have to be crash tested, so they can't sneak giant up updates like that past the EPA, I'm sorry. But Tesla, in their last shareholder deck, did mention that later in the year they expected to start building 2170 Model Ys with non-structural packs, but I guess I just wasn't expecting that option to start so soon, especially when already Tesla has not even updated the configurator to show the standard range Model Y all-wheel drive. All we've essentially got is Tesla reaching out to certain people with Model Ys on order and saying, hey, if you want to accelerate delivery and get this lower range Model Y that might come cost more than your long range, but you can get it quicker. Plus, they've started loading existing inventory in certain areas with all-wheel drive Model Ys that are from Giga Texas, but they're kind of randomly specced, which is somewhat funny. So, not everybody can find them, and they don't last very long, but if you're lucky enough to be in an area where Tesla is offering them, which so far has been in, like, Florida, it's been in the outer sides of Texas, so it's not just by the factory, but there's been people reporting that there's been these standard range Model Ys available in their area, but most of them have like color options or larger tire options or some of which already have full self-driving equipped, even though like no one's ever bought that vehicle. You know, it's not used, it's brand new. Tesla's just building 4680 Model Ys, giving them paint options, giving them tire options, and then software adding full self-driving to it and then trying to sell it off as, well, this is a $80,000 crossover with a little over 260 miles of range. You want to accelerate your Model Y delivery or what? But again, it's not that common of an option. Current data from Troy Teslike is suggesting that Giga Texas is producing around 500 vehicles per week. I assume that will slowly ramp up as time goes by, but the fact that they haven't even ramped too much, but they want to start building long-range Model Ys that will be mostly identical to the Model Ys coming out of Fremont is a little bit concerning to me. I mean, my big question is, will the Model Ys from Giga Texas have the parcel shelf and the magnetic console lid instead of the Fremont build? So it's like, you technically have a long-range Model Y with 2170 sales, but it's just a little bit different because it's from Texas, and also the build quality is probably quite a bit better. But I hope this can kind of alleviate some of the confusion. A lot of people are thinking that, well, Giga Texas has to build new models, right? Because it has single-piece front and rear casting. It seems like a lot of people forgot that the Fremont factory last year switched to single-piece front and rear castings on the Model Y. So everyone's assumed that just Texas does that and not Fremont. No, the only difference with Texas Texas builds so far with the standard range Model Ys was the structural battery pack in the 4680s, but thanks to the last shareholder deck, we know that Tesla confirmed they are not doing structural 2170 battery packs. So, other than minor cosmetic things, which I don't think the EPA cares about, like the parcel shelf or the center console lid being magnetic instead of a physical latch, those long range Model Ys coming out of Texas should be exactly the same as the Fremont made Model Ys. And it's good that they're able to build more of them because, you know, they're substantially substantially back-ordered, and lots of people are still buying those things. But what's interesting is now that Giga Texas is going to start delivering some of those to customers, Giga Texas is actually going to be building Model Ys that are longer range than the standard, obviously, but also cheaper because they're assigning VINs to people that locked in their Model Y order at like $58,000 or $57,000. So without knowing it, a lot of people were ordering Giga Texas Model Ys at lower prices than the 4680 
Tea Bottle Y, despite that having worse range, which is just kind of funny how the world works that way, but I guess from a business perspective, it makes sense for Tesla to build as many Model Ys as possible, regardless of the cell chemistry. So I do think it's a wise choice, but it says a lot about how 4680 ramp is just not that fast as they were hoping, because Elon Musk did mention in a previous earnings call that they had this backup plan to use 2170 cells if 4680s were not quite ready. Now it sounds like they're not going full on backup plan, like scrapping 4680s entirely, but they are taking it much, much slower than we originally thought. And that's likely why we still haven't had the Model Y configurator updated, even though we're almost done with June. You still cannot specifically order a standard range Model Y, and you have to basically get lucky with existing inventory in your area and probably pay a pretty decent premium on it. And I don't think Tesla is worried about the demand for that high price Model Y either, because they rose the prices without us knowing. You know, we had those price cuts just a week ago where the long range Model Y went up to $66,000, which is insane. But because the 4680 Model Y isn't on the configurator, we didn't know that the prices changed until it started showing up in existing inventory. It also got a $2,000 price increase. So Tesla is raising prices on a 4680 Model Y, which is still not part of the configurator. And you just have to be lucky enough to find one. Why the heck would they raise prices on it if they were having a hard time selling it? That makes no sense to me. So I think it's evident that Tesla is well aware they can basically charge whatever they want for these Model Ys. That's likely why they're already pre-attaching full self-driving to them because that secures higher margins and people are definitely going to pay it to get the car sooner. But this has just become such a weird rabbit chase in such a bizarre game of musical chairs now that it's like, if some of you out there are just asking, hey, the Giga Texas factory looks really, really cool. How do I order a Model Y from that? I'm going to have to write like a three paragraph essay explaining it. It's like, well, look around on existing inventory and plug in zip codes that are near Giga Texas or maybe near Florida. Doesn't seem like anyone from California is being assigned Giga Texas VINs. But also, if you're near Giga Texas or somewhere on the East Coast, you could order a Model Y long range and potentially get assigned a VIN from Giga Texas because they're now building 2170 Model Ys already. If the 4680 ramp was doing better, I think that they wouldn't need to. They would probably just turn on the online configurator and let anybody in the country order those models, but they're not because they're so low in supply, so much so that the rest of the factory, you know, the casting presses and the body shop and the paint shop, they're all ready to build more cars. There's just not enough batteries yet. So definitely expect this to expect the Cybertruck timeline because that truck needs the 4680 batteries. That means there's a very good chance of it getting delayed even further. And because this production ramp is going so slowly, this is also why I think you should expect the Cybertruck range to not be particularly good because we now have confidence that the standard range Model Ys are using 68 kilowatt hour battery packs and they're charging $62,000 a pop for those vehicles. So quad motor Cybertruck, absolutely gonna be over $100,000. And that's probably the only Cybertruck trim they're gonna build for several years because uh, they cannot build these batteries very quickly, which is definitely a bit of a bummer considering that was kind of the whole fundamental idea of the 4680 battery from the get-go was to make it easier to ramp up production. So hopefully we get this exponential curve that a lot of people are estimating where Giga Texas cell production can step up a lot in conjunction with the Cato Road facility and then we'll have plenty of 4680 batteries to go around but considering we're like halfway through the year and they still don't want to take orders from anybody I think this means it's going a lot slower than they originally predicted but I could be wrong feel free to let me know if you think I'm way off on this one down in the comments below and again thank you to everyone on Patreon supporting this channel directly seriously helps us out a ton as does just watching these videos so thanks again have an excellent rest of your day. Yeah.